What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Let's just go ahead and state the obvious. I am in a different location today. You also might notice that today's video is in black and white and there's a reason for that. Because today I wanna to talk about the weirdest photos I have ever seen. They emotionally disturbed me and moved me in a, in a very like contemplative way. And they were shot by Robert LeBlanc, which we'll talk about his photos in just a second. Before moving to California, I was a resident of Virginia for almost a decade. And I would often go into the Appalachian Mountains, whether it was Shenandoah National Park, which was basically in my backyard, or a little further into West Virginia, into some of the bigger mountains of Appalachia. Beautiful place to visit in the fall, especially as you see from some of the photos I'm sharing here. West Virginia, if you've never been, is a very unique state in the US, not just in terms of geography, because it's mostly old mountains, old towns, and old coal mining and industries and all that very spread out. It's also interesting from a cultural standpoint because outside of West Virginia, I've never met people like those I met in West Virginia. So let's talk about Robert LeBlanc's photos from West Virginia because they are wild. Over the course of seven years, he traveled to Appalachia, into the mountains to visit a church that is, far as we know, the last church in the US that practices a form of Christianity that handles snakes during their service, drinks strychnine, and has bottles of kerosene that they light on fire and hold it under their chins. And all of this, from a theological standpoint, it's pretty weird stuff. I am a Christian. This is not my brand or flavor of the faith at all. And I have my own theological thoughts on it. Save that for another time or never. But today I wanna to talk about Robert LeBlanc's book, Glory Land. The weirdest photos I have ever seen and they were captured on a Leica Q2 monochrome. But not just the Q2 monochrome, he also told me that he shot on Fujifilm and Sony. You can guess as to what you're looking at, what the camera was. It's irrelevant, because the photos are what matter, and they are weird. I'm gonna show you some of them. But let's talk about Gloryland first. Robert came to San Francisco to the Leica store and did a talk. Unfortunately, I was unable to attend, but I did pick up the book anyway. I've described this book as a documentary in print form. You might like watching documentaries, or watching a series, a docu-series, or even like, I know that there have been some podcasts produced that are like documentaries except audio. This is a documentary in print form. He shot these photos over seven years and they are just like I said, they're wild. But let's talk about Gloryland, the product too, because this is an insanely high detail, beautiful product. So let's start by talking about this box that it comes in. This is like a Bible gift box. If you ever went to a Christian bookstore or hop on Amazon and you look for gift Bibles, you'll see that many of them come in a little box, just like this one. And that's because when you open it up, the book is on the inside and it is bound as a Bible with pages like a Bible. So already you've got a very high detailed, beautiful product here before you even look at it. And I am a sucker for details, especially thematic details. Dude killed it with this packaging, with this branding, the inside of the box. Oh my God, snakeskin, it trips me out. I mean, the box is beautiful. The binding, the, the feel of this is incredible. And then you get into the book itself. This is a mix of photos. It's a mix of uh, manuscripts from sermons and interviews. There's typography in here that is laid out so just beautifully. There are illustrations in here as well that go along with the theme. There's screen grabs from VHS tapes from 20 years ago or 30 years ago from their services. There's pictures of uh, funerals from people that died because of snake bites. Oh my god, I read every page and this book really just tripped me out. But I want to talk about the photos that are in this and the typography because you might not be into photo books, and I'll admit, as a photographer, I've picked up photo books along the way, and sometimes I don't get them. I'm just like looking and I'm like, this, this one book I got, this guy took photos of this field near his house over and over and over again and put it in a book. And I bought this book because I wanted to understand why there was so much hype around it. I'm not even gonna tell you the name of the book. There's like a hundred books with that same thing I just described. But I don't always get photo books, but I get this because this is an entire experience of artistry, photography, typography, layout. Uh, it's incredible. 
And I recognize that me just holding the book up and showing you photos won't really do justice. And so I'm gonna screen grab some from Robert's Instagram and you can see some of them as we go through, but he's got photos in here of the guys catching the snakes they're going to use in the service. Photos of the people that worship at this church and all about them. Here's what was really wild. I just finished watching this show called The Righteous Gemstones. Little plug, it's horrible in every way, but hilarious as well. It's HBO, what do you expect? In the third season, there's a church, like a holiness church that is in the show. And I'm 99% sure they modeled it after this church from the decor to the experience to the room size, like on the Righteous Gemstones, it literally looks like the church that, that Robert has captured in this book. These illustrations are something else too. I don't know what I feel when I look at them. Photos of snakes entering into the worship service. This photo right here, it blows my mind. I mean, look at these. An example of the typography laid over the photos. An image of the woman holding fire up to her chin. I cannot recommend you pick up Gloryland enough. So what's the point of this video? Yes, obviously, I just wanted to show you this piece of art that has been really moving for me, but the moving part is what I wanna talk about because art should move us. It should make us feel something. You hear a song for the first time with really powerful lyrics so that you can identify with and you feel something. Or you watch a movie and you, you find yourself feeling emotional and empathetic along with the main character or with the villain, just trying to understand and wrap your head around the storyline, the trauma or the tragedy, or also the comedy and the victory. We feel things with art. Photography should be no different. You should be creating images that move the viewer. And it's super subjective what may move you and what may move me. But I think my biggest takeaway after seeing what Robert has captured in this and the presentation of it, but it inspires me to want to always keep in mind that the images that I create should move the person that sees it. It doesn't mean that every image has to be emotional. But I think as photographers, especially over the last decade, we have been ingrained to go out there and chase those bangers, get those epic shots, these epic events, these big landscapes. And I mean, I'm guilty of it. Look at my Instagram, for example, or my galleries. I shoot a lot with tourism. And so therefore I've been in a lot of really great places. But right now, man, I just wanna, I wanna make something emotional. I wanna, I wanna make myself feel something when I look at an image and I want you to feel something as well. And that is an incredible thing to take away from a piece of art like Glory Land. There's a link below if you want to check it out. You can pick it up from Leica SF or I'll link below as well, Robert's own website. And again, you might not be the photo book type, but I think you can appreciate this, whether you're that type or not. I was moved and I think it'll move you as well. And while this is not my flavor of the faith at all, I am so moved by this piece. Disturbed, fascinated, curious, inspired and like a hundred question marks because they made me feel things I can't articulate. I just know I feel it. Go pick up a copy of Glory Land, truly fascinating book. And I will see you guys on the next video and we will be back in full color. See you guys next time.